I was gone for a swim. I was feeling good. Definitely gonna get back into the swimming. Starting today. Gonna get fit. Get off the methadone. Start to feel healthy and normal. To fit in. I was a bit worried, you know, whether I could swim these days. But I shook off me worries and I shouts down to me ma. Ma! Any idea where me swimming trunks are? Now me ma, with a confused look on her face. She tells me it's over 20 years since she remembers me having a pair of swimming trunks. Anyway, she finds me a pair. Within two minutes of rooting in the hot press. I knew she would. She finds everything, my ma. She throws the trunks at me. And with a little smile, she asks me what's I'm up to. So I tell her, Ma, I'm starting afresh. Gonna go off everything for good. And I'm gonna get fit. Starting with the swimming today. Now, my ma thought this was a great idea, because she was forever saying what a great little swimmer I was when I was a young fella. So she still has me swimming medal somewhere. I love that about me ma. So loyal to me. Despite all the pain and trouble I caused her, I was gonna make her happy. Starting with the swimming today. I would check the trunks before I put them on. <laughs> They're bleeding state of them. They were so worn. He had these tiny little holes all on them. A wave of woody begins to come over me again. But determined to fight it, I roll up my towel, bang it under my arm, just like I did when I was a young player. So I'm at the front door, getting ready to leave, you know. I shout to me ma, Ma, good luck, I'll see you later. Deep breath and I'm out the door. I can hear me ma's voice telling me, you know, to go off and enjoy myself. She sounded happy. I'm heading up the road, and it's reminding me of all the times I used to go to the bats when I was a young fella. You know, me and me mates, heading off in a gang, with our tails rolled up under our arms. You know, so everyone knew we were going to the bats. Not a matter of that, so We'd have me trunks on already. You know, so I was ready. Shoot out of the changing rooms. Always forced in the pool I was. I was a good swimmer. I knew I was. My mates are always telling me. Now splashing our belly flops for me. It was a bleeding great diver. Huh? He passed glories at the bats. The shapes, the sounds, the colours. That feeling of your first smooth dive. Come to the surface of the clean, clear water. Disappearing for a beautiful glide along the bottom of the pool. And then an effortless curve as you race back to the top. That buzz. No one could touch me. No fear. Probably that same lack of fear that had me always chasing that buzz. Chasing. It's like to chase the man in's bakery after the bats. To get your beautiful chocolatey chest or slice. So beautiful you'd have to mill them as quick as you possibly could. You can almost taste them. Now the bats and manins are gone now. It's the new pill. It's the new pill. You know, it's new, modern. Kind of looks really cool from the outside. Has these huge glass windows. The type of building that bursts into colour and light when the sun bounces off it. I like the building. Makes me wonder if the guy who built it. But the arc shape on the top. Is that because of the shape of the dive? Is that why the architect came up with it? I hope so. It makes sense. Wouldn't it? Anyway. The windows are covered in these posters, you know. Pay as you go. Lessons. Classes. In what? We all taught ourselves. A gym. A swimming pool. Anyway, then I'm greeted by Mr. Bleeding Universe. 
He's in the form of this huge picture across the front of the windows. He nearly takes up the whole window. Talk about shaking me confidence. This feeling of anxiety has me feeling weak. I'm not like you, man. I'm the complete opposite. My mind was racing. I'm about to take out my smokes. I changed my mind. Don't be stupid, Jer. You're a great swimmer. He won't even notice you. Nobody be looking at you. Forced in the pool as always. So I head round the back. Towards the doors. Through the doors towards the desk. So in I go. The girl at the desk seems. A fiver, she says. A fiver. It was Abens when I was a kid. And that included your chest as lice. So I handed me fiver. The girl points me towards the changing rooms. Big welcome sign as I walk in. So big and bright and so fucking clean. It was. The place was confusing. It was almost uncomfortable. I turned. I see a little row of lockers. No sign of the men's. Everywhere I look, rows and rows of little lockers. My mind is panicking. Now, where's the men's? Why didn't the girl give me a colour wristband? I spot this young lad who walks there and I ask him, Sorry there, where's the men's? He points me towards a row of cubicles and shows me the locker system. Then it hits me. The changing rooms are communal. Only with individual changing cubicles. We never expected to see women and little girls running in to get changed. I quickly spot an empty cubicle and I jump straight in, quickly locking the door behind me. The sweat is pouring out me. I start to get stripped down to me trunks. Jesus, they look even worse than this like. My skinny legs and Indian ink weren't helping. My mind starts going back to when I was a young flit in the bats and how I'd be forced into the pool. It wasn't like that anymore. Fuck it, I thought. Deep breath. Open the door. Straight to the locker. Key in. Stuff in. Lock the door. Bracelet on wrist. Heading towards the pool on the noise. It was so bleeding noisy. It sounded like everything was amplified. I should have worn my earplugs. My mind was racing. I could feel people looking at me. I could see myself through their eyes. Skinny. Pale. Covered in Indian ink and old tattoos. There was two mothers and their kids there. They were staring straight at me. The kids were scared. Really scared. Because of me. I had to live. I had to get out of there. But I couldn't. I, I was real with to the spot. I felt hollow. I was just a junkie who stood out in here. Was no champion swimmer. This was not the bats. And I didn't belong here. I would turn, head down, and a quick walk back to my locker. The relief of feeling the key turning in the locker. I grabbed my stuff and jumped into the nearest cubicle. The lad who walked there shouted in to me to see if I was okay. I am, I said. I'm just feeling a, a bit sick or something. I couldn't wait to get out of there. We practically ran out of the place. The relief of getting outside. The place where I could breathe. I was delighted I'd escaped that place. And the people in it. I lit up a smoke. Nodded to Mr. Universe. Ah, maybe I see you tomorrow. Heading back to me mass. Where I belong.